only home this team has had outside the downtown area of Edmonton. Outside is a statue of the great Wayne Gretzky. Inside another game of the Edmonton Oilers. Hi everyone, along with Eddie Olchek, and you'll hear and see Ray Ferraro in just a moment. And I'm Mike Emmerich, and we are tonight seeing a team that is on a bit of a downside. They have not been able to win consistently lately. Take us inside that locker room. What's it like? Well, you got to try to find some confidence, Doc, right now because you are shaken. The pressure is on you. Your fans are on you. The media is on you. Your coach is probably all over you. But I think more than anything else, it's a mindset. Is let's not really try to worry about winning the game because that is the end result, and we know that. But let's win the first period and see where we are after the first period of play. The Oilers find themselves on a losing streak as of late, but they have been doing some good things. It's just a matter of time before they are rewarded for all their hard work. Maybe it's tonight. Let's look at the starting netminders. Foss, the goalie again. He'll man the crease like he often does, looking to give a solid performance for the Oilers. Levongo's the man at the other end of the ice for the Flames. You see the winning percentage is not very good. He'll need to turn this around to help his team. We have a thrilling evening of hockey ahead. Backstrom say good face-off man. Ready for Edmonton. Crosby's there for Calgary. Nothing in the... Score! They have struck early in this one. If you want to generate offensive opportunities, you have to get inside the face-off dots. You've got to find those soft spots in the defense in order to generate and score goals like that. Edzo, good airtime on this pass. Flat when it lands and the shooter has a walk-in. Calgary's aware of that hockey adage. First minute and last minute of every period, it's like a goal and a half. So they got a goal and a half. And possession seized by Char. The Flames hopefully shifting from defense to offense in their own end. Directing that one to Crosby. Could this be icing? And it will be based on the defense arriving first. Calgary's prevailed on another faceoff. Send up the wing to Sharp. With a blast! Gloved! And he'll hold on. Routine stop for the goaltender. The shooter's going to have to do a much better job challenging him. A little under three minutes played here in the first. It's a 1-0 game. They win it. One-timer. Block that one. In the... Got a piece of it. A little pass from his goalie here. The Oilers lug that along through center ice. Great chance here. Two on one. Oh! Sweeping save. Pass attempt to Yonker. Out in the slot. Edmonton's in their own end, moving the puck. To Stroll. Hit drive. He hit the post. Passing one off now to Yonker. He can start some danger here to Johansson. Huge stop by Luongo. Luongo's position was key on that outstanding stop. Score! It's not how hard you shoot it, but it's the release that counts, and he snaps it home. He looked like he's standing there waiting for the bus. I'm not exactly sure why he's in the standing position on that goal. The Oilers control from the neutral zone. Fires! Marvelous save by Luongo! Moving it to Richards. A shot! And it's driven away. Buck covered, whistle blown.
I don't know if he's going to make a save much easier than that one. He's in good position. It's a rather routine stop. A little past halfway here in the first. Calgary's lead on the strength of that recent goal is two. Good clean win. Centering pass. A cover and play is stopped. Quick work on the faceoff. Off a of body. The Juris. Oh, what a play. And now it's directed to Maroon. A shot, and it's driven away again. Goal tender pass brought ahead. That one fired down. The defense will win the race, and icing is called. Luongo's butterfly positioning is perfect here. He's going to make that save all day. Backstrom's team is down, and that faceoff didn't help. To Sharp. The Flames wheel one ahead up the wing. At the point, big shot! Trying to go to Huberdo. To Ovechkin. And that pass goes back to Huberdo. Gets that pass back again. Wonderful stop by Luongo. There are a lot of happy humans there after that spectacular stop. Looking to Sharp. Laid on to Cole. It's a three on two as they move in. A lightning like cloud. Puck is thrown to Backstrom. Puck taken hold up by Sharp. Near the last minute of the first. Up the left side to Cole. Those big pillows on his legs came in handy then. Pitching this one to Backstrom. Right from the slot. Ooh, that one accidentally blocked. Campbell shaken up on the play, but he's gamely hanging in out there. The first 20 minutes are over. And so all of us get a break here before the start of the second period. The Flames are up two to nothing. Let's look at the shot board, and the total comes out nine for Calgary and five for Edmonton. Ribeiro's marker made this a two-goal lead for his team. Intermission is next. We have 20 minutes down. We have lots of time still to go. What are your thoughts so far, Edson? Edmonton's lucky to still be in this game after the first period. They had turnover after turnover. I'm sure the coaches addressed that problem in the intermission. Coaches tell the players anytime there's a lane to get the puck. Score! He's got his second. Goaltender had no chance stopping that puck with the quick release. He just wasn't able to get over and cover the top of the net. The shot's perfect. It's right in the roof, and the goalie's dejected. Calgary's hammered home yet another goal. They've got a lot of shots, and now they've got goals to show for their effort. Face-off win, and now what will they do with it? Pitching it to Baxter. Three on one. What a chance. Out in front. Wonderful save. It just looked like he had a thing to shoot at. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. He got his glove on that one. Snapping a pass to Backstrom. Let's it go. Piece of it. Rebound. And the puck is scooped up by Kulikov. Directing that one to Huberdo. Up the wing and moving well. Pass cut, strong play. The Flames controlling play now in their own end. Up the wing with it now. Blocked away. The others are hoping for running time here. Their goaltenders had such a bad night, they trail big. Good use of the stick, broke that pass up. And the loose puck brought in by Orkin. Pass attempt, the Yonker. 
near the boards. Offside is called. Somebody got over anxious there. Fast's in good position. This is an old-fashioned stick stop for him. Just a tad under eight minutes played here in the second. Calgary's offense continues to hum. Their advantage is three. Pitch straight up to Richards. Bounced off the boards to Marchand. And another one that's in his glove. Passing one off now to Kalorn. Moving it to Maroon. Taken away. Calgary's just caused another turnover. That's a big reason, Doc. They He's got it on a breakaway. Score! Four unanswered goals. He had that look of no doubt he was going to score on that breakaway. McKinley's able to clear open ice, and he lays a sweet saucer pass on the shooter's stick. Calgary's got an enormous lead, and it's in the second period. Hopefully, they don't go daydreaming now. The Flames with a win at center. He is fifth of the season, scored by number 63. Oh, and the pass wouldn't go. Now it's directed to Johansson. Trying to go to Martin. Moves up the side with it now. Pass to the slot. Great glove save. Well, the hands are quicker than a glove. Great save. Well, the shooter's pretty disappointed, guys. He delivered that puck quickly. It was accurate, yet the goaltender was just better than him on the wrist shot. The Flames get the draw. Deflected off the blocker. Gathered in by McMillan. Keeps it going behind the goal. Ooh, a dangerous play made by the goaltender. But he's got it. Chip, the younger. They've got a two-on-one. Possession gained by Airhawk. He missed the net. That shot just squeezed through. I don't know how it didn't go in the net and just missed wide. The Oilers in their own end in possession as they travel. Looking to Airhawk. Lugged along the line. Oh, here's a wrister. Strength and support by the Flames. Score! I just had the feeling, Ray, that there was going to be a goal coming. That the way that they were skating and pressuring and supporting all over the ice, you knew the puck was going to end up in the back of the net. It looks to me sometimes as the goaltender's guessing a bit, and when he guesses, he drops into the default butterfly position to see if he can cover enough net. The Flames have built a tremendous lead here in the second period. Not a lot of time left, but an entire third ahead. Perhaps they can enlarge it even more. Puck is thrown to Orpik. To Aginla. Aginla's creating chances. Outstanding save. What magic to even get the shot away. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. Pitching this one to Strom. Moves up the wing. Great job on a cut pass. Dumped in, out behind the net. It is halted right there. Ahead on that left wing to Erickson. The second period has been played, and that's the fun part. We now look forward to the third. Looking at the shots on goal through two periods here. 18 for the Flames, and seven for the Oilers. The Oilers are suffering on the goaltender. For him, there are great days, there are average days, and then there's today. More in a moment. <laughs> 40 minutes down, at least 20 minutes to go. What are your thoughts so far? Edmonton's got a real tough task ahead of him as we get ready for the third period. They know they're facing a hot goaltender. They know they've created a lot of chances. They need a bounce. They need to get a greasy goal. In order to do that, you've got to put yourself right in front of the goaltender. And this play is whistled down. It is offside.
Calgary has collected another victory on the faceoff. And offside is called on the play. Crosby's won again. His team is winning. All's good. Parkin got that in the trapper. What a glove save. He showed him the glove and he took it away. Reimer's athleticism is on display. That's an odd man rush against an excellent save. The Flames prevail again. Save. Look at how active the goaltender is looking around the screen to try to make the stop. Lister can't get it on net. Right idea, but kicked away. Out in front, still no shot. Got it all. Oh, he thought he had him on the glove side. Oh, he was able to get the glove on this excellent scoring chance. Looked like he had him beat, but he's in good shape and he makes an incredible glove stop. Just over three minutes off the clock. The Flames, impressive at 5-0. Calgary's got that win. Outstanding glove save. Gets play stopped. You can't ask much more from your goaltender than this. That's an excellent wrist shot that he's able to deny. Calgary's got that face-off win. Off the goal post. That hit somebody. Pitching it to Erickson. Snapping a pass to Johansson. Calgary's carrying it on through center ice. Possession established on the pickup by Orpin. Freezes play. That shot's a muffin. The goalie can stop that all day long. Good face-off win. Score! Erhoff's technique on this shot was perfect. That's why it was so hard. Reimer's down in his butterfly a little early. That opens up the top of the net, and he gets beaten cleanly. Calgary's goal has taken them to an even larger lead on a night that they have had the offense going. Third period of play. The Flames waiting back in the defensive zone. It's an odd man rush. It's a three on two. Outstanding point blank save. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. Could this be icing? And it will be based on the defense arriving first. The shooter thought he'd made a pretty good shot here, but the goaltender's in good shape. He makes the stop, and he's able to deny the shooter on what he thought was an excellent chance. Calgary's got it again. Oh, a great reaction there as that one was tipped on goal. Oh, what a block. Directing that one to Ovechkin. To Erhoff. Erhoff's goal in this period has made this game a blowout. One-timer, he got his glove on that one. And they missed that pass. Pass attempt to Kulikov. Looks ahead to start something. The Oilers carry through center. Puck control by Erickson. Good centering pass to the slot. Save! Fired straight up to Gabra. No, oh, and they've got a two-on-one here. He scores! Second of the game. What a performance. When you get to this area of the ice, you got to get rid of that puck quickly, and he did. The passer recognizes that he's got to get the puck up in the air, but he displays sweet hands as it goes just over the stick and lands flat on the ice. Calgary's goal has built an even bigger lead we're in the third period. For the opposition, at least that is fortunate.
The puck is fielded now by Charles. And another save there. Let's check in at ice level with Ray. Marchand's one-timer's been foiled a couple of times, but finally he gets himself open enough to unleash the quick shot. Okay, Ray, he is a special player to watch. The Flames prevailing on the faceoff. Fires, oh, what a glove he's got there. And he freezes for the whistle. You know what, Doc? Instead of acting like this after the whistle, how about both teams play whistle to whistle like this? And they'll try to settle the score this way. And out of all of this, both receive fighting majors. There's always shenanigans when these two teams get together. These teams do not like each other. The fight is over, but some of the first aid will now begin. He's going down below. Just under six minutes still to play in this period. The Flames just keep hammering away on offense. They're winning going away. And possession now on the pickup. Score! He hit that puck square in the middle of his stick. Great technique. Reimer's not going to stop that one, Ed, so it's delivered so perfectly just inside the post. Calgary's goal has taken them to an even larger lead on a night that they have had the offense going. Third period of play. A terrific save, terrific opportunity. Great work with the pass. Great stick save. Out at the blue line. Kick save. Outstanding. Great pressure there, Doc. I thought for sure there was going to be a goal. Reimer's going to have to be sharp if they keep giving up man advantage breaks. Another good stop. He's got another in a long list of face-off wins. Blocked. Let's go, Rister. Passing one off now to Erickson. Great job on a cut pass. The Flames have been a turnover machine. That's why they have a huge lead in this game. What a move on that one with the stick. We are in the last minute to Erickson. Wow, what a glove save. Oh, that puck just hit his glove. Point blast. Shot, wonderful save, what a skill level there. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you gotta find a way to put the puck in the net. Loose puck brought in by Crosby. Good, wonderful save on the redirect. Moving it to Johansson. Levon goes out behind to stop it right there. Corralled in his own end by Richards. Slid to Huberdo. And now it's directed to Chara. Calgary's in their own end, setting things up. Trying to go to Richards. Let's it go. Great grab. Possession seized by Maxton. A shot. Oh, he got that. Score! Richards was in a low slot. He found the rebound and beat the goaltender. Reimer's got to do better than this. The initial shot, he handles, but he leaves the rebound sitting there. It's a juicy one, and the scorer makes no mistake on it. Solid win at center ice. Now what? It's a three on two. How will they defend this?
The game is over. It is a good thing there are extra digits that go all the way up high on both scoring and in shooting because those were challenged tonight. This was lopsided. Not a very good effort. Need to regroup. Or the coach and general manager are going to have a meeting. another game and another telecast. We hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Freddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night.